Hi, I'm David Zinn. I'm the set and costume designer for SpongeBob SquarePants the Musical, and I'm gonna give you a tour of our set. You're now like at the you're at the edge of the world of Bikini Bottom. Bikini Bottom spills out into the audience this way, and then moves up into the stage this way. So uh, kind of straddles both audience and stage space. All of Bikini Bottom is made theoretically of things that would have fallen to the bottom of the ocean. And so rusty oil drums are a big part of our vocabulary. Tires are a big part of our vocabulary. And then there's a bubble proscenium that comes out into the house, and it involves a bunch of inflatable globes and solo cup sculptures. There's a baby pool which is the way you see some of the news and information. There's like frisbees and water bottles and lights and tinsel and pool noodles. These boom boxes which sort of surround the front of the stage, they're mostly like vintage boom boxes that we sourced through Etsy and eBay. I graffitied some of them, the scene shop graffitied some of them. We kind of made this sort of SpongeBob symbol language that adorns a lot of the stuff in the front of the house. Patchy the Pirate, you know, uh, who is SpongeBob's number one fan, has come to see the show and brought his extraordinary collection of SpongeBob uh, paraphernalia with him. They're all real, they're all a collection of some of the most a sort of spectacularly absurd SpongeBob things that you can get. Uh, there's a w SpongeBob Waff Maker is over there. It's really just a kind of well curated collection of true sort of merchandise. He, of course, um, being the number one fan, has given himself a position at the very front of the stage, so he has the best view. I'm not a loser. Early on, Tina Landa, the director, and I kind of thought that the spirit of a Rube Goldberg machine, the principle of which is the most complicated way to move, a very simple distance, seemed like the perfect uh, SpongeBob thing for us. We worked with two amazing um, Rube Goldberg engineers, which, P.S., that is a job, and they're amazing, who helped us sort of work through the physics of these things and also kind of work through the spirit of them. They're made up of a bunch of wonderful things that are part of the kind of crazy kinetic energy of the show. Adventure, I'm a contender and more. It's really fun to get to just like do a thing whose purpose is to delight people. I don't underestimate what a gift that is to be allowed to do that. And um, yeah, we had a blast putting the show on. I am not a